example two, uh, 30 professors of, of 100 who are examined uh, were found to be overweight. Right, this is for W. 10 uh, out of them had a high blood pressure, stand for H. Only four of the professors who were not overweight, meaning W prime, had high blood pressure. So meaning there is intersection between W prime intersect H. Find the probability that a professor A is overweight if he had high blood pressure. This is a conditional event. And B with not have a uh, high blood pressure if conditional event he is overweight so for a we are looking for probability of so this one which one has happened first so the event happened first he had a high blood pressure so this one is h and the following is w and the second one conditional probability so if this is happened first overweight but not have high blood pressure overweight and not have a blood pressure high h prime uh, to solve this question uh, we must uh, draw a table con contingency table uh, because they have uh, two items, uh, W for overweight, H for high blood pressure. So here, for the first uh, row, we put weight and uh, we put W for overweight, W prime is not overweight. And then H stand for high blood pressure and H prime is not have any blood pressure. Okay, high blood pressure. So, from the question, uh, we see that uh, the total of the pro uh, the total of people here is hundred. So, this is hundred here. And then, thirty professors of hundred who are examined were found to be overweight. So, you look at look at the column of overweight here. So, the total is thirty here. And then 10 out of them, and from here, the T, they have high blood pressure. So this is high blood pressure with the overweight. So here is 10. So for the first column, the total is 30. So here, suppose is 20. And for total 100, we have 30 here. When we sum these two, we get here is 70. All right. Next uh, sentence, only four of the professors who were not overweight, not overweight, had high blood pressure, had high blood pressure. There is intersection between them, so this is four. And then, so 10 plus four for the high blood pressure is total 14. And then here, we can see the total for not overweight, 17. So 70 minus 4, you get 66. And for the total not high blood pressure, you can sum this one, you get 86. And after that, when you sum here, and when you sum here, this two, so you get total 100. So this is, we call it contingency table. So as a conclusion, here we can write the number of uh, W intersect H. This is the number of W prime intersect H. The number of event W intersect H prime. W prime intersect H prime. So here is NH, this is NH prime. So here is NW, this is NW prime. So this is a total set.
and S. All right, for the first question asked, so the property of is over with if. So we have here if, if uh, he had a blood pressure. So we use the formula property of W intersect H over PH. So here, look at the table, the previous table. So W intersect H is 10 out of 100 over, so PH is 14 over 100. So here you will get 2 over 7. Okay, for B, the property of uh, will not have high blood pressure. So H prime if or given if uh, he is overweight, uh, overweight. Sorry. So P H prime intersect W over P H. So look at the column that has H prime intersect W, which is 20 out of 100 over P W is 30 out of 100. So here you get simplify. You get 2 over 3. Example 3, Harry travels to work by either road A or road B. The property that he chooses, road A, is 1 over 4. The property that he is late for the work, if he chooses, uh, road A is 2 over 3. And the property that he late for a work, if he chooses root B is 1 over 3. So this question uh, related to the previous question, which is a conditional probability. So what is the probability that he is late for a work on particular day B given that? So this word is conditional for the first event. He is not late for a work. What is the property that he chooses? Root B. So from here, we are talking two things. Uh, using root A or B and late or not late uh, for the uh, events. Alright, let's solve this question. So first we draw three diagram. The first event is about road A or B and the second one about late or not late. So the first part is about road and the second one about late or not late. So uh, to complete uh, the branches so look at the word, uh, the probability that he chooses root A is 1 over 4. So this is 1 over 4. And for the uh, probability of PB, so the total of these two branches is 1. So this one 3 over 4. And look at the, sec uh, the, the, sec the second uh, sentence. The probability that he is late for a work, late for a work, if he chooses the root A, is 2 over 3. So meaning this is a conditional event. So this is L if he use uh, root A. And then so the total L L and prime is 1. So this is supposed to 1 over 3. And the next sentence the property that he is late for a work, late for a work if he chooses the root B, so this is also a conditional probability, which is the probability of late given that use uh, a root B. So the probability is 1 over 3. So here is 2 over 3. So actually the outcomes here is intersection. 
P A intersect L P A intersect L prime P B intersect L and P B intersect L prime Uh, to solve this question, so P uh, helate the probability of helate on particular day we put PL. So this one equals to P. He used root A intersect L plus P B intersect L. So we just uh, multiply for each event. So one over four times two over three or plus 3 over 4 times 1 over 3 so here you will get 5 over 12 okay for the second question uh, which is uh, find the probability that uh, given that he is not late for a while. so this is happened first not late this is the first one given that and then what is the probability that he, he used root B? So this is second event. So we use the formula P, B intersect L prime over P L prime. So here, how to solve. So look at the tree diagram. So P, P, B times, so 3 over 4 times 2 over 3. And then P L prime is the 1 minus 5 over 12 so which is 7 over 12 so finally you get 6 over 7 all right this is the exercise that you have to do so please submit to your lecturer bye bye thank you